Good morning, everyone. It's Miss Harbert here. Um, for those of you that don't know me very well, I am a teacher in year four. You might have seen me before doing lots of music type things. Um, but this week is very exciting for me because it's a bit different. I am going to be helping you do lots of science week activities. Um, so thank you to Mrs. Pamerton, who's let me do this little assembly for us. So I have made a little PowerPoint for us to look at. There we go. Okay, so what is science week? So science week is science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. All of these things make STEM. So science week is where we have to spend the whole week celebrating these things. So what are we going to be doing this week? Um, so very excitingly, we are going to hear from, from some scientists in our Grove community. So some of these are parents um, of you lovely children, and some people are married to members of staff or siblings, all very lovely. Key stage one, you are going to be learning how to be seen in the dark, so thinking about bike safety. You're also going to be making some ice gardens. Um, key stage two, you are going to be making cheese. Wow. And you're also going to be designing a classroom for the future. And all of us today for our Monday science activity are going to be taking part in a poster competition. So that's really exciting. And there's even going to be prizes, children. So stay tuned to find out more about that. So this year's theme for Science Week is innovating for the future. So just think about that for a second. So innovating means a new idea, method or way of doing something. So we will be thinking about new ways to improve our futures. So that's things that haven't happened yet in our lives. So we might be thinking about inventions, so making something totally new that's never been thought of before. It might be developing things that we already have, so changing them to make them even better. And we're even going to be thinking about our own futures and the possibility of a STEM career, so a job in science. So here are some super inventions that we're going to look at. So a few years ago, these would have been innovations. They would have been things that people would never have heard of before. And these are mobile phones. So the first mobile phone was made in 1973. So I bet there's your grandparents and lots of members of staff that will remember a time before mobile phones were even invented. So in 1973, they weighed over a kilogram, which is really heavy. It was made by Motorola, and the first phone call was demonstrated by John F. Mitchell and Martin Cooper. So they've kind of gone down in history as the first people to make a call on a mobile phone. So the first mobile phone available to members of the public, the Motorola Dy Dynatac 8000X, sounds very fancy, went on sale in 1983. So that was 10 years later before it went on sale to like the general public like us. And it cost around £3,000. Wow. So I don't think many people would have had them for a long time until they started to get a bit cheaper. I know Apple phones can be very expensive, but you can pick up a cheap mobile phone for probably about £10, maybe even less. So you think they have got a lot, lot cheaper. Oh, here's our next super inventions. I bet lots of you have never thought about who invented the toilet. So the first flushable toilet was invented almost 500 years ago. Now I know that probably doesn't sound very exciting, but can you imagine a time before toilets? Where would you have gone to the toilet? You might have had to go in your garden, you might have had a, um, a bedpan under your bed that you would have to empty. So think how lucky we are now to have flushing toilets that take all our waste away from us. So in 1596, Sir John Harrington, the godson of Queen Elizabeth I, invented a device that had a large water tank in a room above the toilet, which would flush away waste. Okay, in 1775, Alexander Cumming invented a flushing toilet which included the S-shaped pipe still seen today. So if you have a look around the back of your toilet, you might see an S-shaped tube, which stops all the sewage from coming back into your toilet. Um, so that prevented smells from coming back from the sewers. 
and many other improvements have been made over the years by countless other inventors to create the modern system we have today, which we are all very grateful for. But science is actually still happening now, children. So I'm not sure if any of you heard about this, but the Mars rover landed on Mars in on February the 18th, 2021. So it's only a couple of weeks ago. Wow. If you have a look at these pictures, these are pictures that the Mars rover has sent back to Earth from Mars. So you think all those thousands and thousands and thousands of miles. So we can see what it actually looks like. And I did some research into this actually, children. And these are the first ever coloured pictures that have come from Mars. Any other pictures we've seen beforehand have been black and white. And then they've kind of been edited or photoshopped to make them colour. Um, so if you have a look in the bottom corner. So the Mars rover is really a kind of radio controlled light like car sized robot um that has gone out to mars to like look at the rocks and soil and things to find out a little bit more so nasa who run the american space program hopes to find out some more about mars how exciting okay now this is something that's been in the news a lot so no lots and lots of different countries across the world companies and countries have been developing um, different vaccines for the coronavirus and um, so these are to stop people getting poorly with it so it might not necessarily stop them 100% getting it but it will make them a lot less poorly with it which is great so the current target um, with the government at the moment is to vaccinate every adult in the UK by the end of July so that is crazy quick you think of all those millions of people they've got to vaccinate now do you know anyone that's had a vaccine yet so I know my granddad and my nan have had it so far and my brother has had it because he's got quite an important job so he needed one and hopefully my parents will get it soon. Okay so like I mentioned earlier children we've got our poster competition coming up so uh, I want you to design something new and exciting. I don't really mind what it is, I want you to use your imaginations. So you might design a supersonic new toy. You might develop a new car. Ooh. Maybe you'll develop something to help us in school. You might develop something to help around the house. Maybe an electric device that makes your bed for you or something that automatically pairs up socks. You might think about cleaner energy. Or you might even invent a new food item. So what you need to do, children, is get yourself a piece of paper and draw your design and make a lovely poster, making it look super duper exciting. And then I want you to send in your poster to your class teacher. So if you send this in by 5 p.m. on Friday, the 5th of February um, to your class email. So obviously on the screen, you can see an example of the class email. So you need to put your class for the word class so my for my class it will be maple class at grove.wilts.sth.uk um so send those in and we are going to have a prize for the best poster in each year group which will be very exciting and um you can also visit the british science week.org website and enter the nationwide competition and they also have some super duper prizes which you might be interested in so that is your Science Week activity for the day to make those beautiful posters. But before you do that, stay tuned because not only is it Science Week this week, on Thursday it's World Book Day. So on Thursday we won't have any science activities because Miss Haynes has provided us some lovely, lovely, lovely World Book Day activities. So that will be amazing for you to get involved with too. So. I'm going to put myself back on the screen so you can see me. There I am. Hi. Um, so, children, what I would love this week is to see loads and loads and loads of photos. Um, send them into the Facebook page and your teachers. I'm sure they'll be very happy to hear from you. Um, and have lots and lots of fun. There'll be a video um, for each day explaining what you've got to do. And just enjoy yourselves and think about how science influences our lives. Okay, I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.